If sailors' tales to sailors' tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooners' islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold, and all the old romance retold exactly in the ancient way, can please as me they pleased of old, the wiser youngsters of today, so be it. Ha <laughs> ha! Looking right, please, Pete. <laughs> like a ship's cat, sitting fish. <laughs> uh, your eyes don't deceive you. Uh, but now past the time of day with that pretty chit Maria. Ah, that buxom, black-eyed wench. <laughs> Her from Wainwright's plantation. <laughs> uh, that'd be the one right here in Porta de España. Uh, she's a mind for dancing this night. <laughs> Can you see me, mates? Prancing to the fiddles, eh? <laughs> Do you not want it for service at the house? No. All the servants have a holiday. Mr. Wainwright and his wife be dining at the governor's. That'd be so. And Mrs. Wainwright's jewels will be left unguarded. The famous Wainwright jewels. Ah. Aye, the costliest lot of sparklers in Portobello. Left unguarded. And who did I see in Porta de Spagna but Long John Silver himself? Ah, that one-legged, black-hearted curse of the main be here. Tis my guess. He knows about the lie of the land of Wainwrights. What think ye? Aye, aye. Silver do have a taste for pretty gems. Mm. He'll most likely have some scheme in mind. If somebody don't get there for him. <laughs> I'll wear my diamonds. I wouldn't care to leave them in the empty house. Joseph, it was thoughtless of you to give all the servants a holiday. Why, my dear? It's not often they have freedom. Indeed, I know that. But we can't leave my jewels unprotected. I'm sure thieves will break in. Now, Dorothy, you're fussing over nothing. In ten years, we've never had a robber. Nevertheless, I shall wear all my diamonds. Joseph, I told you, there are robbers in the house. Nonsense, my dear. It's probably the cook boy's cat. I'm sure it's robbers. Go and look. Oh, do hurry, Joseph. cold-blooded thing I ever heard of. Yes, it was all covered in blood. Any time now, Governor. This plantation is a smoldering ruin. Sacked completely. My officers have questioned all the servants, but no one saw the murderer save Wainwright and his unfortunate wife. Give the poor fellow some brandy. Cannot affect the issue, and it may give him some strength to speak. <laughs> Mr. Wainwright. Mr. Wainwright. 
who killed your wife? Who was the leader? It, it was a man with... a man with only one... Uh, uh, He's gone. What a terrible tragedy. Somebody will pay for this. Yes, but who? He said the leader was a man with one... Now, what did he mean by that? One finger, one arm, one leg. No. No. Silver is a villain. But to kill a plantation owner, never. But, Sir Henry, Mrs. Wainwright's jewels are worth a king's ransom. Yes. Yes, I know. With booty that valuable, he may have some information about it. Bring in Long John Silver. Yes, Your Excellency. John. Should be here soon. He said he'd be back before dark. He had to cross the island to Porto Espana on some very important business. More grub. Big leg. Show me the color of your money first. Ahoy there, mate! <laughs> How are you, me bucko? Blow, blow, blow the man down. <laughs> ah, good evening, Purity. I, I'm so hungry I, I, I could eat a bear. I <laughs> warned you this morning before you left, credit be thin. Ha <laughs> but my fortunes have changed all of a sudden, like. <laughs> Show me cash. Ah, uh, well, uh, as to that, first, I must pay a visit to Michael O'Shee. The jewel buyer? Ah, what I have here could buy you and your old tavern. You're <laughs> naught but a swivel-tongued liar, John Silver. Oh, so you doubt my word, woman. Aye. The word of Long John Silver. Aye. Uh, <laughs> then cast your eyes on these. Why, they be real diamonds. Ha, do we think I'd be fobbed off with imitation? How did you come by them? Steal them? I come by them legitimate. In payment of an honest debt. Swear you're telling the truth. By Jim Hawkins' life. Ah, on Jim's life. Arthur, bring Long John what he wants. Yes, Miss Purity. This will be on the house, Long John. <laughs> You'll accept a noggin or two free gratis and for nothing, won't you? <laughs> oh, I apologize humbly for misdoubting you, Long John. <sighs> and I ask your forgiveness, love. I say those golden words again. And I ask your forgiveness, love. Ah, <laughs> sweet music. Now make me an offer. But the, the catch be broken. <laughs> an apprentice could fix it. Five hundred crowns. Ha! <laughs> That's me final offer. A thousand crowns and the price of what I owes you. And that be my final offer. Done. Now show us the color of your money. Do you think I keep it on me person? So, now you're asking me to trust you, Ari. <laughs> Here, be this a jest. We have orders to bring you in, Silver. I'll thank you to return my property. Then you don't deny that this is your property. Here, 
You're talking kind of strange, Captain. Seize him. So you did steal it, and the charge be thieving. And cold-blooded murder. <laughs> but I've told you the truth. Sligo gave that to me in payment of a fair debt. By Flint's bones I gotten from Sligo. Were they witnesses? Uh, no, Your Excellency. By a man named Sligo, eh? Whom no one has ever seen or heard of. I'd have expected a better lie than that from a man of your experience, Silver. Her initials, D.W. Dorothy Wainwright. She was murdered in cold blood for this. No, I am. You didn't ought to be mixed up in this. I come to give you a piece of me mind. I can't forget how you swore your black lie on Jim's life. Do Jim think I'd be guilty? He'd be just a boy in worship. Yet you're again me. me. Haven't I tried to turn you from your evil way before something like this happened? Now hear me out, Willie. Yesterday morning, I... I went down by the arbor and I ran into an old shipmate. He, he come sneaking ashore. His name was Sligo. Er, he said they were after him on an hanging charge back into Tugger. Time short. Why do you be wasting it on these tall stories? Or is... He begged me not to give him away. He said he'd make him worth my while if I took him overland to part of the spanner. Time's up, Long John. But if you be telling the truth, how do I go about finding this Sligo? Oh, I don't know. He... He was a man with one ear and... Time's up. This way, Miss Baker. You, you believe what I say, don't you? They do something about it. All his mates. Jim, they're helpless without their leader. I was thinking the, uh... If I were a man, I'd try to get him out of jail. Somehow. He'd be on the run for life. With every man's hand against him. Name your drink and keep your eyes to yourself. A double noggin. Ah, oh, you poor man. I had an uncle that lost an ear once like yourself, and the ache hurt something cruel. It's me heart that aches, for the lack of female company. Well, I'd be glad to have a drink with you if you'd like, Mr. R Just call me sweetheart. Yes, yes, sweetheart. Inside? Oh, no, not just yet. Wait till I know you a little better. I'm sure, sweetheart. For I up a ship this night for foreign parts. Oh, 
but I can't leave me duties for a few minutes. But if you'd like to have a drink with me in the booth there, the private one, I think it could be arranged. You wouldn't be alone. Jim! Jim! Just make yourself at home, sweetheart. Jim smile. He'd be watching us. What is it, Miss Purity? That scum have only one ear. It might be him. Do you think it's Sligo? I aim to find out. But what can we do? Potion. Jim, give me a hand. This bloke be heavy. Come on. Are you going for the soldiers? Well, no. Let Long John be the first to hear the good news. And in the meantime, let this be our secret, hey, Jim? Even from Patch and the others? They might want to take the credit. Now, I won't be away long. And you stand guard. Long John, I've come to crave your pardon for misdoubting your word. Uh, it is too late. I'll soon be mounting the steps to the gibbet. I've seen Sligo. Her? I tell you, I've seen Sligo. Where be? Hid, and nobody but myself knows where. What daftness be this woman? I can save your standby and see you hanged. Your mind's on in. Me mine never worked better. Gar, gar! Oh, save your breath. I talked me way in here by pretending I could make you confess. A purity in the name of all we've been to each other. We ain't been enough. That's the trouble. You fob me off with promises till me youth's nearly gone. Her promises. Do I make myself clear? Now name the day of our wedding or be hanged. Hands up, Miss Finger. Now you have till the morning to make up your mind, Long John. Now we split up in the party the way we planned. come to make a few innocent inquiries about the health of an old shipmate of mine. Yeah. 
handed Sligo over, Miss Purity. I'm scared he'll escape. Oh, uh -huh. not him. I slipped an extra potion in his supper. He'll sleep peaceful till morning. And then we'll hand him over to the governor. Uh, well, I, I hope that'll be the way of it, lad. Now, settle down for the night. That's the boy. You best you get in the cover long, John. It's our next as well as yours if they see us, you know. Here. Be there any room at the tavern that's been locked up and you've been told not to enter? Uh, Iron Ann says the best bedroom was shut and locked this morning and only Miss Purity has the key. Ah, here, come on. Slipped him a potion, looks like. Aye. Tie off me, lower him down. <laughs> Evening to him, mateys. Had too much, he has. As we're searching for that murderer, John Silver. Have you seen him? Whoa, no, not me. And I hope you catch the filthy swab. Long John Silver's in your study, Excellency. Hey! Some of the garden sees him. He's with the guard now, sir. What? I'll go at once. What's the meaning of this? Uh, this be Sligo who gave me the necklace. <laughs> Drugged. So you bring me an unconscious man to blame him. These jewels were found on the fellow's person, Excellency. And they too bear the monogram DW. Put there by you, no doubt. Cunning to the end, eh? Uh, uh. John Silver, I owe you an apology. Oh, there'll be no need for that. <laughs> but you can do me a favor. Rather. <laughs> well, uh, now that my name be cleared, <laughs> I'll be needing the use of your jail <laughs> and your cooperation uh, to clear my honor. <laughs> My little woman, come to my arms. Arr, tis better to wear your noose than the executioner's. And Sligo over to the law, and you and I'll be spliced. Well, speak, woman, or forever hold your peace. I've got something to tell you, Long John. Arr. Sligo escaped! Escaped! I regret to inform you, I be no longer for sale.
If sailors' tales to sailors' tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooners' islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold, and all the old romance retold exactly in the ancient way, can please as me they pleased of old, the wiser youngsters of today, so be it. <laughs> Right, please, Pete. <laughs> like a ship's cat, sitting fish. <laughs> Your eyes don't deceive you. Uh, but now past the time of day with that pretty chit Maria. Ah, oh, that buxom black-eyed wench. Oh. Her from Wainwright's plantation. <laughs> ah, that'd be the one right here in Port of Espana. Uh, she's a mind for dancing this night. <laughs> Can you see me, mates? Prancing to the fiddles, eh? <laughs> Do you not want him for service at the house? No. All the servants have a holiday. Mr. Wainwright and his wife be dining at the governor's. That'd be so. Then Mrs. Wainwright's jewels will be left unguarded. The famous Wainwright jewels. Mm. Aye, the costliest lot of sparklers in Portobello. Left unguarded. And who did I see in Port of Espana but Long John Silver himself? Mm, that one-legged, black-hearted curse of the main be... No. No. Silver is a villain. But to kill a plantation owner, never. What, Sir Henry? Mrs. Wainwright's jewels are worth a king's ransom. Yes. Yes, I know. With booty that valuable, he may have some information about it. Bring in Long John Silver. Yes, Your Excellency. John. Should be here soon. He said he'd be back before dark. He had to cross the island to Porto Espana on some very important business. More grub. Be late. Show me the color of your money first. Before you left, credit be thin. Ha <laughs> but my fortunes have changed all of a sudden, like. <laughs> Show me cash. Uh, yeah. Says my guess, he knows about the lie of the land of Wainwrights. What think ye? Uh, aye, aye. Silver do have a taste for pretty gems. Mm. He'll most likely have some scheme in mind. If somebody don't get there a for him. <laughs> I'll wear my diamonds. I wouldn't care to leave them in the empty house. Joseph, it was thoughtless of you to give all the servants a holiday. Why, my dear? It's not often they have freedom. Indeed, I know that. But we can't leave my jewels unprotected. I'm sure thieves will break in. Now, Dorothy, you're fussing over nothing. In ten years, we've never had a robber. Nevertheless, I shall wear all my diamonds. Joseph, I told you, there are robbers in the house. Nonsense, my dear. It's probably the cook boy's cat. I'm sure it's robbers. Go and look. Oh, do hurry, Joseph.
Sears pay a visit to Michael O'Shea. The jewel buyer? Ah, what I have here could buy you and your old tavern. You're <laughs> naught but a swivel-tongued liar, John Silver. Oh, so you doubt my word, woman. Aye. The word of Long John Silver. Aye. Uh, <laughs> then cast your eyes on these. Why, they be real diamonds. Ha, do we think I'd be fobbed off with imitation? How did you come by them? Steal them? I come by them legitimate, in payment of an honest debt. Swear you're telling the truth by Jim Hawkins' life. Ah, on Jim's life. Arhan, bring Long John what he wants. Yes, Miss Purity. This will be on the house, Long John. <laughs> You'll accept a noggin or two free gratis and for nothing, won't you? <laughs> oh, I apologize humbly for misdoubting you, Long John. <sighs> and I ask your forgiveness, love. I say those golden words again. And I ask your forgiveness, love. Ah, <laughs> sweet music. Now make me an offer. But the, the catch be broken. <laughs> an apprentice could fix it. Five hundred crowns. <laughs> That's me final offer. A thousand crowns and the price of what I owes you. And that be my final offer. Done. Now show us the color of your money. Do you think I keep it on me person? So, now you're asking me to trust you, Ari. <laughs> cold-blooded thing I ever heard of. Yes, it was all covered in blood. Any time now, Governor. This plantation is a smoldering ruin. Sacked completely. My officers have questioned all the servants, but no one saw the murderer save Wainwright and his unfortunate wife. Give the poor fellow some brandy. Cannot affect the issue, and it may give him some strength to speak. your wife. Who was the leader? It, it was a man with... a man with only one... Uh, He's gone. What a terrible tragedy. Somebody will pay for this. Yes, but who? He said the leader was a man with one... Now, what did he mean by that? One finger, one arm, one leg.